thanks for the opportunity to present um, to this forum. And um, yeah, you have seen this um, blue, big blue box before in the presentations of Lean and um, Enrico. And this is our uh, high content screening microscope, the CV7000S from Yokogawa. It features um, not an automate, uh, fully automated stage, um, autofocus. It um, includes the, the um, uh, liquid handling module for uh, single channel dispensing, uh, a barcode reader, and it's integrated um, to, um, to, with a plate, plate loading robot. So the, the, auto, uh, the loading of the plates can be done automatically. Um, yeah, the acquisition modes can be both confocal and wide field. It's this confocal spinning disk. Um, it produces lots of individual TIFF files that are 16-bit and have roughly 10.8 uh, megabyte in size. And uh, the metadata of, of the acquisition are stored in three different meta file formats, um, MES, uh, MLF, and MRF, that's specific to Yokogawa. And um, yeah, when we started, we, um, we thought a lot about how to cope with uh, the speed of this instrument. So um, the images come in at around 260 megabytes per second is the maximum. And average it's about 100 mega megabytes per second. And um, to copy this off the instrument computer um, uh, might interfere with, uh, or will inter would interfere with, um, um, with the acquisition. So we decided to, um, to use uh, the SSDs as a primary acquisition. Um, storage, and um, we also wanted to use the microscope uh, as efficient as possible, and to avoid having any any um, delays of copying, uh, while and make data available as as quickly as possible for processing steps. Um, so this is. The, the, basically the workflow that um, Dean showed before, but I would like to uh, talk about it a bit in more detail. Um, so the, as I said, the acquisition um, is done to, to, the, to the SSDs and the local uh, instrument computer. And from there, from, from these uh, SSDs, it's copied to two different locations in parallel. So um, we have a local storage that is the QNAP, and we have the network storage that, that, that uh, Enrico talked about, the DDN. Um, um, from, the, from the DDN, we, um, we submit the um, uh, data sets to the IT team to, for, for archiving, to, tape, to the tape storage. And when, when this is done, um, the local copy at the QNAP uh, can be deleted. So we avoid a long-term duplication of the data. Um, the data sets that are on the on the, the tungsten on the DDN storage are then available for pre-processing and also image analysis with uh, user def the, the choice uh, of the tool is up to the users um, so some of these uh, steps are already automated and um, we have a nice tool that uh, Laurent designed in um, Python to, um, to give the user the, f the, the options to, um, to configure the, uh, the transfer of the data. So they can choose uh, the, the source directory and to the two different um, target directories depending on where their group folder is. Um, they can um, they can uh, activate a more safer and a bit slower mode of, uh, of copy, um, where the robocopy uh, does additional checks. And um, they can, um, the, 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 the tool automatically checks the presence of the files in the target destinations and also the sizes of the file, and then uh, can on the fly delete the data so that we make space for new incoming data sets on the SSDs. And once it's finished, or if there are any problems, the user can, uh, will receive an automated email notification and a report of the transfer. Um, so this is, um, table shows um, 
a selection of projects that we have been uh, running over the past two years at FMI. Um, some of them are screening projects, the upper ones here, and outstanding in data size are clearly the, uh, the ones that are performed in the Liberali lab that were done on uh, intestinal organoids, for instance. And, but also a single uh, standalone experiments can reach quite a high, um, uh, quite, a, uh, quite a huge data size. Uh, so we um, um, have this, this very diverse uh, set of um, experiments that come in and um, they can be 2D, like this, oops, sorry, like this yeast data set, they can be 3D and they also ha that we have also time-lapse projects. Um, the, the, file, the, the plate formats can reach from 24 well plates to 384 well plates. Uh, we often have multi-channel acquisitions and um, um, sometimes it's only one image per well. Sometimes it's a, a tiled image acquisition with 50 uh, positions per well. And, um, and um, we um, identified that there are common tasks for all these data sets that, are often, that often need to be performed. So for instance, um, a background or shading correction. Um, it's um, very often people need a projection, like some or average um, or maximum projections. Um, they like to uh, have their, their images as a montage to be able to see the whole well or even the whole plate. And um, also they need sometimes um, um, first measurements on the image, in the images to access the quality of the experiment. Um, so uh, together with uh, Jan Eklinger from the facility, who is um, an expert in, um, in the software tool NIME, um, we, we developed a strategy to deal with these uh, diverse incoming data sets. And we, we use a, uh, a common storage, the, the DDN. And we wanted to uh, be able to monitor automatically the, the, the new data sets that are being transferred from the Yokogawa, extract the metadata from the three different metadata files that um, tell us about the uh, structure of the, data, of the data set, and um, also allow the user to choose the, the output that they want from the pre-processing of the images. So, um, the, so Jan set up um, the NIME server to run a scheduled uh, unsupervised workflow that runs every hour to, um, to check um, for new incoming data sets and create a list um, that summarizes um, the dimensions or the number of channels or Z-planes, number of wells, uh, that uh, gives you um, a simple plate overview of the positions that have been acquired. So you roughly know it's which plate format and which wells uh, were acquired successfully, and also reports uh, acquisition errors or out-of-focus errors. So you can see why, why these files are missing that you expected to see in your data set. Um, from there, um, users will be able very soon, so we hope to launch this in December, um, to log in to the, the NIME web portal um, and select the, the, from the list of data sets the ones that they want to process. Um, then um, they, they, have, um, the, they can reduce the number of channels or only select certain wells or, or Z positions and then also configure the output from, uh, that they want from the pre-processing. So do they want average or a montage of the whole plate or just of the well. So th th this way we will avoid um, um, doing a standard um, pre-processing that might not be needed at the end. And okay. Um, from for the output uh, will be um, ready for the user to analyze in their preferred tools. Um, and I show you now one example 
um, that is from a yeast screen that was looking for growth of yeast cells. It, the, the screen has, had uh, 49 plates in size, 37,000 images, so rather small. Um, but, um, and, but so this is suitable for the, um, for the NIME um, computation. So it's not um, cloud or something, it's locally done on VMs. And um, from this plate overview that was generated with the NIME workflow, you can easily spot the interesting um, compound in this case that is similar to the, to the positive controls. And this is confirmed by the intensity measurements here in the, um, the scatter plot that was also done in NIME. And as, as a second example data set, I can show you the, uh, the time-lapse uh, project that was um, this is about um, char char characterizing the swimming behavior of several um, C. elegans mutants that are um, swimming in the 384 well plates. And these guys are rather um, perky. And so we had to really um, use the high frame rate to acquire them to have a smooth, um, smooth, smooth movie. That's uh, 20 frames per second. And um, for these users, it uh, was interesting to, to have a look on their data before starting an automated analysis. And um, they can create um, plate montages that are, that are uh, grouping selected wells. So for instance, uh, the mutants are um, spread out over the, the plate, and then they can group by the mutant and see them side by side and really access the experiment. Mm with their expert knowledge. Okay. Um, so um, for our uh, high content screening workflow, we have automated um, the key steps of file transfer that already happens during the acquisition. Um, the, uh, we extract the metadata of the, of the data sets and we generate the previews, uh, like the plate montage for the users to be able to quickly look at the images and um, access the quality of the experiment. Uh, and um, for some projects, uh, the NIME uh, workflow can also be useful to create an initial readout, some intensity measurements. Um, and this is, might be sufficient, but for anything more sophisticated um, Im image analysis, you can then use um, the common tools that are open source, like Cell Profiler, Elastic, um, maybe more sophisticated image analysis in NIME. And uh, there's this new tool uh, that was developed uh, with the Liberali Lab, and that Osmaya will uh, present um, after this talk. It's called Tissue Maps. <coughs> Okay, I'd like to thank uh, especially the IT team and uh, for helping with setting up this, um, this workflow and dealing with this millions of data files and um, of course the, the facility team and the Liberali team where I'm um, involved in the, in the organized projects. Thank you.